Hey everybody, this is Luke with uh, Res Tech Studios, and this is just gonna be a quick uh, video on showing you the uh, landscape auto material that I created. Um, this is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring in um, a height map from uh, World Creator or World Machine or whatever, um, without doing any type of texturing within those programs. We're just gonna bring over the height map, and I'm gonna show you the results. Um, but this is just something I just created very very quickly in a matter of seconds, honestly. Um, we created this little ravine here. So, but uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, start a new level really quick. And what we're going to do is uh, let's work on our lighting here for a second. I'm going to go eight, color temperature 4500, and make it movable. And we're going to cascade channel maps. We're going to go four. We're going to bring in a skylight really quick. And we're just going to make this a little bit yellowish. We're going to move. And now we're going to bring in a landscape. So I already created a, uh, a simple uh, landscape within uh, World Creator 2. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to import from file. We're going to open it up. Now, as you can see, um, this is actually something I was playing around with uh, when I actually had to do the height maps for texturing. Um, however, we don't need to work with uh, the texturing at all. All we have to do is bring in the height map. So we're going to bring in the height map, and we're just going to import. And now you can see our entire landscape has been brought in. So now, let's just go ahead and do a simple texture. So auto material, material instance, I'm going to drag and drop. Should turn all black. Now we're going to go to our landscape. We're going to go to paint. And here's all of our layers. Our main one is the auto material, as you can see. I'm just going to click on that one. And let's just click on all these. And for good measure, I always like to click on the material instance and bring it into the landscape one more time. And there you go. The entire terrain has been automatically textured based off of my master material. Um, the grass maps, again, the, this, this grass mesh is not included within the pack. This was just to kind of showcase uh, the result that you can get. But as you can see, got a good result with pretty much no effort at all. Just brought in one height map threw the material in there and it automatically textures everything accordingly. So I should have this uh, submitted to the marketplace here uh, in the next couple of days. So look for it next weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.